Drew Titan, Bronze on Deck, shout out to the mighty LDBC. This just in, Bob Arum calls Eddie Hearn a desperado, would now bet that Fury and AJ won't happen. So let me read the article that was just sent to me from, from uh, uh, Ring Magazine. All right, this was sent to me. Uh, one of the brothers in the in, in the uh, uh, one of the brothers in the family sent this to me, and this article is courtesy of Ring Ma Ring Magazine. So let's uh, get to it. He says, uh, "If I had to bet whether Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua would happen or not, I would say no." Said Hall of Fame promoter Bob Arum on Wednesday afternoon, the day after he and Fury went to an arbitration session in California to work on mediation stemming from a proposed third fight between Fury and Deontay Wilder. On Tuesday, Aram and Fury jetted to a section of Northern California, Napa County to be exact, where the arbiter for the Fury Wilder arbitration has a property to see if the parties involved can smooth over their differences. A switch to negotiation is possible, Aram said, but he's still working on the summer time to uh, set up the 32-year-old uh, Fury to battle AJ, but he didn't seem much enthused for how the planning is going. And some hard words for promoter Eddie Hearn, who is handling planning from the AJ side. As far as I can see, this whole thing with Eddie is just a mirage. Arm continued. Don't get mad at me. All right. This is this is Bob Arm saying this. Arm speculates that Hearn is feeling the heat because his deal with AJ is soon to expire. So what he's saying is he's putting the gas pedal on this Fury versus uh, uh AJ thing because AJ quite possibly this is his last fight in his contract with Eddie Hearn so he's trying to put the gas pedal on this to make this fight work this is the last hoorah that's why he's working so hard Eddie is desperate this is Bob Arum saying this Eddie is desperate he has one more fight with AJ and he wants it to be the fight against Fury but if a fight against Tyson is delayed to the winter and AJ has to fight then AJ has to fight Alexander Usyk and that's not a big fight Eddie is a desperado here did y'all catch that is Bob Arum really in a rush to get Fury in the ring with AJ because it'll benefit Eddie Hearn or is Bob Arum just simply hating on Eddie Hearn and not necessarily doing everything that he can do to help this fight happen. Is he hating on Eddie? Is Frank Warren hating on Eddie? I recall both of those men telling Eddie to be quiet. They damn near told him to shut up. That's what I read. They told him to shut up about it. And Eddie has a big mouth. He openly admitted that, you know, sometimes I have a big mouth and I get ahead of myself. We're looking at it. We're looking at it right now. So on Thursday, Aram told Ring Magazine a Zoom call will be held with Aram and Frank Warren, who, with his Queensberry Outfit co-promoters Fury and others, Eddie's out of time, Aram stated. Eddie hasn't talked to us for two weeks. Now let's stop right there. Eddie hasn't spoken to them for two weeks. I remember... As soon as this fight was signed, they had 28 days or else there's no fight. I remember John Fury doing multiple interviews saying, put up or shut up. I know I've played them on my live stream. And then I remember Tyson Fury saying, if it's not done by Tuesday, we're going to walk away from it. That hasn't happened yet. So maybe there's still help. Not help because Eddie needs help. Maybe there's still hope. Maybe there's still hope. Now, the fans could say, you know, Eddie's doing all he can. He's doing it by himself. Maybe he is. Maybe he is doing it by himself. Maybe he's by himself doing this negotiating and everything else. And maybe in your mind, that's not right. But they did tell him to be quiet about it. You know why? While he's talking about fights are being signed and there's been an agreement and it's on paper. The only person that mentioned arbitration was Bob Arum. And when did Bob Arum say we would know something about the arbitration. He said, we should know something by May. It is April 28th. There is exactly hmm, two more days left of this month. They're flying out 
somewhere in California to see the arbitrator. Now you're hearing about it now. Now it's coming up. To the Eddie Hearn fans, to the AJ fans, to the Fury fans who want this fight so bad, are you confident? I'm just asking a question. See, this is a boxing channel. Well, health and wellness too. I'll get back to it. But this is a boxing channel. And if the AJ Fury fight is etched in stone, it's going to happen. No matter how I feel about it, the fight's going to happen. And I will do my part in talking about it, whether I like it or not. There's a lot of fighters that fought that I didn't like, but I spoke on it. So let's go further. He said he hasn't talked to him in two weeks. No. He says, I emailed her as well as Shelly Finkel repping Deontay Wilder to see if they wanted to weigh in. Hearn responded, noting the last communication was Friday of last week and we had a long call with all the lawyers on Sunday. Aram says he's been uh, he's been made aware that Fury's bestie, Billy Joe Saunders. Now listen to this. Billy Joe Saunders, who fights Canelo on May 8th in Texas, isn't that pleased because he feels like Hearn is favoring his deal with Canelo as opposed to looking out for Saunders, who is under the matchroom umbrella. So now, what Bob Arm is doing is he's building his case. He's saying that Eddie Hearn has all this crap on his table. The Billy Joe Saunders things, he, 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 Billy Joe Saunders thinks he's going to get screwed on the cards. Hey, listen, man, you about to fight Canelo Alvarez. You're already down five rounds. And y'all not even in the same state yet. <laughs> Newsflash, you're fighting Canelo. So you're already losing on the cards, dude. You already need to knock out the win, dude. So you already know, you knew that going in, so stop it. But what Aram is doing is he's pointing that out. He's pointing that out. He refers to it, he says, there's real animosity now, Aram said, indicating that he's not on the same page with Hearn at the present time in a, in a way that suggests Fury versus AJ will get firmed up and announced. More complications, Aram said, have to do with the proposed date, August 7th. That date would mean AJ would be without long-term trainer Robert McCracken, who will be helming the Great Britain squad in Tokyo at the Olympics. Aram is dubious that AJ would need <laughs> would indeed be all good with that departure from the norm. It's, it sounds like either this will get sorted out quickly or go entirely off the rails and people will pivot to other plans for the first scrap in 2021 for both Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Go read this article for yourself. All right, The Ring. Now listen, are you confident? I gotta ask you guys, are y'all confident? Go read the article. Are y'all still confident? You remember when they use terms like scrambling, we're scrambling to send paperwork, we're scrambling to get it done. When you're organized, you don't scramble for anything. You just get it done. 28 days. Then if it's not done by, by this Tuesday, we're moving on. We have another update on an update on a fight that has no date. And while we're at it, we have no venue. Listen, man, I need to know how to plan my weekend, man. If the fight's going to happen, let me know. Let me know so I can know what I'm doing that weekend. Give me something to talk about. I don't think the fight's happening, but prove me wrong. Now, I got a lot of people saying, oh, man, you know, you're just mad because the fight's not. Hey, listen, it don't matter. I could be mad all I want, but if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, right? So let it happen. I'm just waiting on a date. We have an update about another update on a fight that has no date. Don't get mad at me. That's Bob Arum. Now, is Frank Warren and Bob Arum just sitting back and letting him do all the work? Yeah, but they also told him to shut up about it. You know why? I'm looking at the facts. Is Frank Warren a liar? More than likely. Is Bob Arum a liar? Yes. Eddie Hearn a liar? Yes. But I know, I know, I know. When we point that out, 
What do y'all say? Well, all promoters lie. Okay, with that being said, you just proved that these guys are liars. So with that being said, let's look at the facts. What are the facts? Tyson Fury said this fight was signed in June of last year. It was signed, ready to go. Just one problem. Remember what he said? Just one problem. I have to get past Deontay Wilder, the knockout king. We'll do that and we'll go on to uh, Anthony Joshua. Remember that? What happened? Oh, I know what happened. Deontay Wilder offended his family. He offended his ethnicity or whatever he said and he's not fighting him. What happened to that? Now they're getting on planes and flying to see the arbitrator on his private property. Now they're talking about arbitration. But you know what the pipe bomb is? Shout out to the brother Boxing Conversations with Reggie Owens. Go subscribe. Because he was just waltzing around in Macy's and said, oh, there go Tyson Fury. Walked up to him, threw the phone up and said, yo, man, yo, you looking lean? I'm not lean, I'm 280. I played the video on my on my live stream. I do it damn near every day. So he says, well, who's next? Uh, Wilder? He says, everybody. The whole division's on notice. And then he did his little WWE shtick and he pimped off. Remember that? Did you get a straight answer? He didn't say Wilder was next. He didn't even say AJ was next. He said the whole division's on notice. Meanwhile, you're a WBC champion. The whole division's on notice, though. You're the WBC champion, but you're going to go chasing people or they're supposed to be going to chase you did Ajit Kabayel chase you or did you try and pick him instead of fighting the person you're contractually agreed to fight with what happened Mr. Fury but never mind that better than that Reggie walked up on Sugar Hill he said Sugar how's camp he said it's not a camp let me get this straight we're in April Eddie Hearn gave us three dates. It was like two weeks in July and one week in August. And y'all not in camp? It's not a camp. He said, well, you have an agreement to fight. You signed contract. He said, yeah, that's like a signed contract between you and I. We don't have no date. We don't have no venue. Oh, wow. Ring Magazine didn't get that interview. IFL didn't get that interview. That was boxing conversations with Reggie Owens walking in the mall and just having a boxing conversation and they didn't lie they told the truth you gotta listen Tyson Fury didn't say Wilder was next he didn't even say AJ was next he said everybody's on notice that's a broad answer Sugar Hill said we're not in camp we can sign to have a fight that's like a signed fight between me and you Go look at it if you think I'm BSing. Go look at it. Ladies and gentlemen, what do I say? Time reveals all truth. And a lie is nothing but the long way to the truth. Y'all still want to jump in my comment section and talk about how I'm mad that AJ vs. Fury is close. You know what? There's still time. It could still happen. But I find it strange that Fury is in shape, but there's no fight signed. And the bronze bomber is now posting videos of him doing pad work and looking mighty dangerous. Why is all this coming about now? Hmm? Hmm? Don't worry. If y'all don't get what y'all asking for, I'm going to get what I'm asking for. And if y'all pay attention, y'all not going to like what I have to say. <laughs> the universe don't lie. It don't. You get what you put out. Y'all gonna see, and y'all gonna learn. Bronx on deck.